Hello everybody, Ed August here. So I stopped by my locker, one of my lockers, to pick up a few books that had been ordered through the mail. Barbershop Ballads from 1940. This is a fine, um, fine and very interesting book. And also somebody for $11, they bought something called Erotic Astrology. So that'd be fun. So looking through the first box that came along, uh, gosh, I wish this was on some kind of steady cam, but it's not. Here are things in box number 26, just at random out of, you know, 60, almost 70 boxes that I have nailed down here. What is this? The Prisoner of the Mas Mahdi. Prisoners of the Mahdi. The story of the Mahdist revolt, which frustrated Queen Victoria's designs in the Sudan humbled Egypt and led to the fall of Khartoum, the death of Gordon and Kitchener's victory. Well, um, yeah, there's been actually a, a movie that was made on that, I think, in the 1930s. Packing for Mars. Packing for Mars. Why would you want to pack for Mars, huh? Uh, the Curious Science of Life in the Void by Mary Roach. Okay, that's in here, and then scooting over to this hand. Let me see, what is this? The Mathematical Tourist, huh? by Ivar Peterson, Snapshots of Modern Mathematics. Those books can be fun, but you need to have kind of a background in, in math to really get very much out of them. Oh, what a nice old binding this is, huh? A nice old three-quarter leather. I guess they call it one, two, three-quarter. And this part here is uh, boards, as they say. And what is this box? What is this book? It's called The Daughter of an Empress. By Milbach. Well, we could look it up. It's got, uh, I think it's a continental European princess, according to the Eagle on the Binding by Caldwell and Company. So, geez, I don't have time to look into all these books. I'd love to open them for you and show you some of the goodies. The Middle of the Road by Philip Gibbs. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a better way to do this so that you can see with me what I've got. The study of prehistoric change. I do have a lot of good anthropology books right now. Anthropology, especially Canadian and Arctic anthropology. The Chinese experience, where? The Chinese experience in Arizona and northern Mexico. If you're interested in any of these books, then go to my um, website at augustbooks.com and um, you will find uh, this. Uh, Book. They, these books, they are uh, not in alphabetical order, but you can certainly conjure them up on my website and find out more about them. A Renaissance Tapestry, the Gonzaga of Mantua by uh, Kate Simon. I really am not too familiar with that subject. So I'm going to try to hold these books here in good shape and lock them away. The study of prehistoric change. Well, that's interesting. You know, is it prehistoric change or is it recent man-made change that explains, you know, the sea level rises and climate change and stuff like that? Do you believe in climate change? Here's Byzantium and the Roman primacy. Okay, so that's the duel there between the Vatican, symbolized by the picture on the right, and and the uh, great, you know, uh, what was that? The, well, it's a mosque now, but up until the 1450s or something like that, it was the capital of the um, Roman Empire, at least the Eastern Roman Empire, since the Western Roman Empire fell into smithereens. Okay, what's this pretty little book in such nice condition? It's all gilt, gilded, and everything. I can't make it out. It says, Archaeology of the Yakutat. Bay Area of Alaska by De Laguna, and it's uh, put out, no doubt, by one of these companies that loves to put out books on the Arctic and on exploration up there. Yeah, I don't have these books priced individually, like I can't just open them up and tell you what the price is. You'd have to look on, on the website. Well, that gives you some smattering of an idea. Oh, how could I miss this one? How could I miss this one? This one is called... Love is Walking Hand in Hand by Schultz. You know, Schultz, the guy who did Peanuts and uh, Linus and all that good stuff. So this is a book from back in the, I think it's about 1970. Um, it could be in the late 60s. Uh, yeah, let's see, I don't want to mess it up by 
fiddling with it here. It's a kind of lightweight book with, uh, you know, little charming poems and whatnot, anecdotes and little uh, drawings of his. So um, anyway, so that's box number 26. And uh, if you go to my site, um, just look for some of these books by, by name, by title. And uh, I'll try to put up some more similar videos in the days ahead so that you, um, you know, get the full experience of what it's like to have about 100 boxes of, uh, of old antiquarian and collector's type books. And the prices range anywhere from, you know, like $7 to $7,000. Okay, thanks for looking in. Love you.